you. Welcome back. We are glad you are still there. Let's begin local. But before we go to local, let's recap the question of the day. And today we'd asked you, should Ten Hag stay on as Manchester United coach? What do you think? Want to hear from you? SMS lines are still open to 242. Hashtag Sporty Monday. You can SMS. You can also X us at TV Kenya, at Isaac Swill, at Zita Jimoi. Whoever you like to tag, we'll sample your feedback at the end of this program. And back to local football, Tusker FC's hopes of bagging a silver this term are hanging by the thread after they were bundled out of the FKF Cup by Kakamega Homeboys, followed by a 3-2 weekend mauling by Karyubangi Sharks that has left them trailing leaders Gorma here by eight points to up the pressure on veteran tactician Robert Matano. Zita Jemoy spent time with the Lion and filed this report. <laughs> Like the lion, he is nicknamed Tasker coach Robert Matano Exodus Calumnies, even in the faces of pressure. The last two weeks have been particularly tough for him. Not only was his team kicked out of the contention of the FKF Cup at the hands of Kakamega homeboys, but also suffered a shock 2 3 mauling at the hands of hungry and determined Karobank Sharks, leaving their chances of banging a silverware this time hanging by the thread. When you lose one match, it doesn't mean that you cannot win five matches. So, here in Maisha, and it's a history of Kwetu, it's behind our back, we'll focus on next match. However, Matano is not taking the defeat of homeboys in his stride. He is instead blaming the poor officiating for having contributed to their loss. If I denies that goal, clear goal, uh, so we lost, but we lost fairly. We lost on our side, it was fair to me because... Only if I make change. But in terms of playing and so forth, we played so well. A poor start to the league saw the Broadleys record just three wins out of their opening 10 games. But the veteran tactician is bullish. They have the mental strength to withstand the pressure that comes with the title run in and will approach the remaining games as finals. Because if we do it, we will make seven points and we need to win nearly every match. So, we game here to say, we will make the final. Kwa sahi sisi tunajua seven points oke okay, ni kama like three games na sisi sahi tunafanya tu kushinda games yetu. So tunachukua kila game kama final na tunajua any time itakuwa tu poa sit kushinda zetu juu wezi juu hapo mbele kutakuwa aji. His view is shared by his top scorer, striker Erika Paito who says they are shifting their guns on the KPL title race and will give everything to challenge Gormaya. At least uh, for me mekamu, uh, season ni kianza Sick of feet, uh, but in the same game after game, uh, trying to score uh, every match, but Kitio Kwanza ni ku say the team first ku win, then individual. Uh, with only nine games to go, the Brewers are eight points behind Gurmaya after losing eight games and winning 13 out of the 26 games they have played. That's football. Football can all depend on one half. Can bend both. Can start slowly, but you catch up and start fast and you, you fade. So what is this about consistent and how you can run the league, how you can manage the league? They are, however, confident of earning yet another title to their Oraka Trophy cabinet that so far boast of 13 league titles, four FKF Cup and three Super Cups. It's about mental strength. What you need is not to be ready, to prepare, to fight hard, and also to make sure that we win nearly uh, every match so that we can narrow the gap. Yeah, it, was really, it is really tough, but uh, we have to continue playing because, again, football, uh, you, you expect anything for the game. Reporting for Sporty Monday. Citizen TV, I am Zita Juma. Zita there with the lion, we call him Roberto Matano, a veteran coach in this part of the world. And uh, Shitera, I know Matano is your friend. Mm. You also probably share uh, a village. A village yeah. But things don't look good for him. Can he turn it I around? think just like Mourinho, uh, Matano's time at Tasca is up. Uh, he should... Uh, Look for new prospects, uh, probably inject that energy somewhere else. So and, in short, uh, you're saying he should change clubs or he uh, should retire? No, 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 no. Uh, I did not say he should retire. He still has energy. You can see him running around and uh, giving instructions. But uh, his ideas at Tasca, uh, I think, are exhausted. Mm. And uh, Matano, as I said, just like Mourinho, 
you overstay at a club, then you start diluting yourself. Mm -hmm. So in my view, I think it's time for him to uh, seek uh, new prospects because uh, at the moment, uh, Gormahia, eight points with the experience, I don't think uh, anyone will uh, catch them up there. The, the, the league is already gone, just, just like uh, the league in uh, Bundesliga. But <laughs> realistically, it's yeah. here, uh, short and tight. Uh, look at it this way. It's eight points gap between Kogalo and the Brewers. Nine games. They are still around around 30 points. Nine games. To 30 points, not 27, 27 to fight games. for. Nine games, since that's 27 points to fight for. You can have the table there. 27 points is still quite a lot. Can Matano claw back? No, I don't see any, any, any team catching up with Kogalo for one reason. Mm -hmm. You see, last Sunday, I mean this over the weekend, the two teams that are close to Kogalo, that is Bandari and Tasca, both of them failed. Mm. So you want uh, to talk about a tight league when you have a scenario like the one we are seeing in the EPL, mm -hmm. not a time when at Gore is uh, drawing, I mean, is drawing, losing maybe two points, another team is, uh, losing. is losing, Bandari and Tasca. Mm. What Matano has done, he has tampered so much with the team that played last season. Mm -hmm. I have always said, sometimes you lose the core of the team, and before you make another good squad, it, it takes a lot of time. I remember a player like Humphrey Mieno, People may talk about his age, but he was actually very instrumental in Tasca's journey last season. Mm -hmm. Talk about Jackson Masharia, a veteran player who has been there. Mm -hmm. I think the replacements they did have not really still helped the team. So there is a journey. Now the question is, is it Matano is going to take uh, Tasca to Canaan, you know, in the new squad that is being built? Mm -hmm. I don't believe. Uh, I don't want to dwell on Tasca, but just cover the other aspect of this. Gore dropping points, is here as uh, alluded to that. And uh, of course, Bandari again, hot and cold. Mm -hmm. How do you see this panning out? Probably the quest for the top three slots? Uh, Gore dropping the points, that is advantage to the teams that are coming up, whereby um, you can see 27 uh, points for everyone to fight for. So for me, if they continue dropping points, if they continue playing what they are doing, uh, they're playing now, of course, another team will do it, will take it over. Mm. So for me, um, I'm not saying that the league is gone for now because 27 points are, are a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of points, whereby mm. if you continue playing like dropping points here and there, it will, the other teams will come up with you, will catch up with you. So uh, something else that I, I just want to add on what is here, mm -hmm. he said about um, the Tasca team. Tasca team, I think, the transition from the old players to the young players, mm -hmm. whereby they lack experience in their in their what in their team. So that is what thing that is really eating eating up with, with Matano. Matano is used to working with experienced players, not the small team, small players. Dennis, before we go to Germany, Shabana, uh, this is a team of uh, Fred Arrocho. Actually, they picked a rare, I'll call it a rare win, mm -hmm. and 3-0 actually over Posta <coughs> Rangers. That's quite huge after a lot of struggles. Mm -hmm. Moroni Youth again winning 2-0 against. Uh, Nairobi City Stars. The, all these two teams have been struggling. Mm -hmm. so. Can they probably claw back and uh, evade the chop or the relegation acts? Yes, I would like to see Shabana next season in the league because it's kind of community club uh, with a very big support base. So coming to the KPL for one season and going back to NSL, <laughs> it will be very embarrassing uh, for the team, for the fans who love it. So. I would like them to continue from where they are uh, so that they can win some two, three, four games so that they can uh, avoid relegation. I would like to see them. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> to my friend, Sam Pomzo, for winning that, uh, that game. Again, you talk about the uh, game against FC Leopards and Sofapaka. FC Le Sofapaka has been having a very good run against FC Leopard. That is uh, seven games unbeaten against FC Le Leopard. So you don't know. Um, no. nah, yes, last, yesterday they had to they draw 1-1. One, one. Yes, they not draw 1-1. Let me say what I wanted to say about, uh, about uh, Mohoroni. Mm. Because over the weekend, bad things happened there. Mm -hmm. City Stars went there, and uh, the, the, the team, the players were harassed, the, the media offices were harassed, and we are asking FKF all the time, why is it happening that any team that goes to Mohoroni, mm -hmm. it becomes a battleground, and people are, even the media cannot be allowed to record a match, just even and for actually, analysis. It's, uh, you see, a good point you are raising, but this has been happening actually mm, mm. for the last two three years i year. think it has been raised but it seems the federation is not really yeah, it's really nothing when simbas of this world when youngers of this world are playing in the champions league mm. we are in kenya talking about teams being harassed when they go to mohoroni mm. it's shame on us quite a shame uh, we hope uh, the federation will actually act tough this time round so that there's some order the rule of law and decorum in our football. Now let's go over to Bonn, Germany for the Bundesliga analysis. Leverkusen, 
they have the ice on champagne. When are they going to pop it? But Steve Shitera is ready to engage or take us through that segment. And of course, we are